Okay, g'day folks, welcome back to Karen's Training. So today we're going to have a little bit of chat about boom deflection. So we'll start off, what is boom deflection? If you think of boom deflection like when you're going fishing, you've got a big fish on the uh, rod, you get that big bend in the rod. Okay, the exact same thing is going to happen to the boom of a crane. And the heavier the lift, or the depending on the boom configuration, it can be quite extensive. It can get a meter or more of boom deflection. Now the problem with that is going to be, as you're lifting the load, you're going to be a meter plus over jibbed, which means that load's going to swing out. All right. So the number one aspect there is don't stand in the line of fire. So whenever you're lifting the load, don't stand anywhere where it may have the potential to swing out and hit you. Okay, now the other dangers involved with that is if that load starts swinging out, what that can do, that can also pull the crane out of radius. You've got the extra um, dynamic forces being applied as it swings out as well, which is going to end up shock loading the crane and do some other nasty things as well. So, number one question I get asked is, how do you allow for the boom deflection? The easy answer is, if you're rigging for the crane, do not try to compensate for boom deflection. The best thing you can do as a rigger is to put the hook over the center of gravity of the load, get on the two-way, whatever the case may be, let the operator know that he's over the center and just ask him to hold his radius. Okay, so from the crane operator's perspective, what he's going to do as he's roping up, he'll keep an eye on his radius and if his radius starts to increase it, he'll start booming up and keep it at that same radius, all right? So by the time he picks it up, that um, hook block should still be directly over the center of gravity of the load. Now in saying that as the rigger, as he starts taking it up, best thing for you to do is you position yourself at 90 degrees to that boom so that you can still keep an eye on his um, rope as well. So if you're standing 90 degrees and you can see his um, rope is starting to get a bit of an angle on it, okay, you can just tell him to hold the rope and boom up a little bit instead. Okay, but just talk to him as you're going along. A good crane operator will be able to just hold the center, but it's always advisable just stand at 90 degrees to the boom and keep an eye on it for him as well. Okay. So that's pretty much all I need to say, but just be very careful that on the boom deflection, if you are standing in the line of fire, things can get pretty nasty pretty quick, okay? So whenever you are lifting the load, make sure you're well clear of that line of fire. Now, from a crane operator's perspective, if you're just learning to drive a crane, keep in mind that the exact opposite is going to happen as you're putting down a heavy load. So if you've got a high boom angle, if you're up around the 78 odd degrees on the boom and you're putting a heavy load down, if you don't compensate for that boom deflection, all right, as that deflection comes out of the boom, it can also force your boom back onto the backstops if you're in a crawler, and it can also bend the boom over backwards causing some major structural damage. All right, so as the crane operator's perspective, when you're putting the load down, what you need to do is, once you've touched the load on the ground, all right, as you're releasing the weight on the rope, you slowly boom down at the same time. All right, and that'll just take that boom deflection out as you're coming down. All right, so that was just a quick one, just because I've been getting a few questions about the boom deflection. So the key points to remember is, don't try and compensate for it if you're a rigger. Just put the hook over the center, talk to the crane operator, let him know it's over the center, and then the crane operator will hold his radius. All right. If you're new to the crane and you're putting the load down, all right, just touch it on the ground and then you can start booming down as you're roping down just to hold your radius there. All right, that was just a quick one. So thanks for your time, guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with any more hints and tips to come along. Okay, thank you.